if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope guys welcome back to another vlog so today is Tuesday and I'm just gonna get a little ready for the day it's a little bit later than I usually kind of start my day even though I did a few things already today but Lila took a long morning nap like almost two hours so I also took a nap because I was up for a little while during the night um yesterday I have did not have a good day. I was trying to vlog, but it really didn't work out. I just had a really bad mental health day. So I'm really trying to make some more changes in my life. I've been doing, obviously I've been seeing, you know, the doctor for my medication and stuff, but I've been doing therapy. I have just, I don't know. I'm just I don't, like not well. So I'm gonna start doing some lifestyle changes too. I really wanna get outside more. I think that'll help. And go places. Me and Jesse were talking about that yesterday because I was like really like having a breakdown. He's like, you know, you probably have to get out more. Because I literally like sometimes don't leave the house for days on end, but I really don't want to. <laughs> it's not like there's all these places I wanna go and then I'm like, hmm, no. Like, I just don't go anywhere because I don't want to. So definitely trying to turn things around because I've definitely been in a funk. That's for sure. But doing my makeup and getting ready also does help me a little bit. So I'm going to do that. I was going to do a morning walk with Lila, but I want to see if she's ready for her. It's kind of, I guess, like the big kid seat in the stroller because this week she's been sitting up so much she hates to lay down and the one that we have right now is the bassinet where she lays down and she's also like almost too big for it like too long her feet almost like touch the ends so I want to get that but it's in the attic like behind a whole bunch of stuff so so we will go for an evening walk and just see where the day takes us I also ordered an eyelash serum because I was watching, like, I'm really not deep into Bama Rush TikTok, but I do follow some of the girls because their stuff always came up and they're just, they're gorgeous little girls. And one of them definitely uses an eyelash serum because their eyelashes are like crazy long. And I want my eyelashes to be long. So I ordered that, but that won't come until tomorrow, I think. But I do have an exciting purchase coming in the mail today, which I can't wait to show you guys. And I also got some other stuff on Amazon yesterday that I'll show you. But for now, I'm just trying to put Lila down for her second nap. I don't think she's asleep yet. But that's really why I didn't vlog last week. I've just been dealing with mental health struggles. 
All right, well, that's like my really quick makeup routine. I already put my skin can skincare on earlier this morning, so that's really it. Sorry if you can hear my super loud washing machine. This was one of my interesting Amazon finds that I found on TikTok. It is just like a desk side or bedside clock, but it has a charger on top, so you can charge anything that has wireless charging. It also has two alarms, so if you want like a weekend and... um weekday alarm but I just love it I love how like simple it is when I wake up in the middle of the night to feed Lila I always want to know what time it is that she's waking up but I don't like to look at my phone because then I feel like once I look at my phone I'm more awake and then I'm more tempted to just like scroll on my phone so that helps me avoid having to look at my phone in general and it's just so cute I'll show you my home outfit of the day which is this tank from Zara, this linen shirt from H&M, just some gray sweats from White Fox, I think, and then my furry Birkenstock dupes and just some socks. That actually looks pretty bad down there, but I have to wear socks. I also got this new runner in our kitchen. I think it's from Rugs USA or Rugs.com. I don't know. I'll link it below, but it's just like a brownish neutral color and I feel like the runner is so much cuter than just having our little mat right there I love it just think it like sort of elevates your kitchen even if you have like a small kitchen which I think our kitchen is pretty small compared to the size of our house um, it makes it look a little bit bigger and like you have more space I'm gonna go see if I can get that stroller contraption out of the attic. It's literally a thousand degrees up there in the attic part, so I'm not gonna bring the camera. At any given moment in time, Peach is in the nursery. So it's definitely still her room. Lila just woke up and had her bottle. Hello. And this was the attachment I was talking about for the stroller. I think that she'll be good in it because you can make it a little lower. So if she's like trying to sit up too much, I can have her like this. And I think she'll like this a lot more than the bassinet now because she's always looking around. And in the bassinet, she obviously like, can't really see anything other than just the sky. So I think this will work out really good for going to stores, going on walks, things like that. She fits. Perfect. <laughs> I just put Lila down for a nap and she's pretty good. Like I'll put her in the bassinet in her sleep sack during the day and she'll fall asleep on her own without crying. But I put her in there and she was staring at me like, I was like, okay, gotta get out of here before she starts crying. I'm so tired. I do not know why, because I slept pretty well last night, and then I took that nap this morning, but it's three o'clock. I really can't have, like, too much caffeine. We got these seltzers that have 35 milligrams of caffeine, so I'll have one of these, because it's like, just enough. But they don't really taste that good. But my exciting purchase came in, so I'm gonna open it and show you. I got this tote bag from Marc Jacobs to use as my diaper bag because the diaper bag I've been using, it's just so bulky. It's like a messenger style bag. And it's honestly just always in the fucking way. When I'm walking, it's like always in the way. And I would just prefer this kind of tote bag. But hold on, I have to give Lila our pacifier. She's, I hear her. And then the other thing, is from Amazon, which is inside this bag right now. And it's this purse organizer that I got to use for the diaper bag so that everything stays like in a little place and it's all organized. I will link it down below. It was only like $20 and this is in the large size. I definitely could have gotten the extra large to fit in this bag but it just has a whole bunch of pockets, a zip pocket in the center, it's perfect. And now that I've been using this bag, I have just been, or now that I've been using a tote and not like um, our diaper bag, 
I've just been putting my own stuff in here, just like transferring it from my purse to this instead of carrying a purse and the diaper bag because it was just too much stuff. And I also have this cute little pouch. I DIY'd this. I got all the stuff from Amazon and I just hot glued it. Well, actually super glued it. So they're all kind of coming off. I need to fix it. But I was keeping Lila's little extra things in this. But now I'm just going to put it in the pockets of this. And then this will just save for, you know, if we're going somewhere because it just takes up so much room. But I'll link what I use to make this because I love Stony Clover Lane. Absolutely love. It's a woman-owned business. I think the makers of the brand are, you know, really cool. I follow them. But I just, I can't spend $110 on a pouch. I can't. So I made that. And then the other thing I've been doing just to, like, make it easier to switch from my purse to the diaper bag is I made one of these. This is also from Amazon. But this is just a smaller pouch. And in here is I keep all the stuff I keep in my purse, other than my wallet and keys. Like I have my medicine, chapsticks, gum, hair tie, whatever. So that when I'm switching from my purse to this, I literally just have to put in that pouch, my wallet, and my keys. And I think this is so cute. I love this tote bag. It's perfect for work. I feel like the canvas, you don't have to worry about your leather getting scratched or anything. You can clean it really easily. It has a zipper, which is great. So cute. I'm obsessed. Now I just want to go somewhere so I can bring this with me. Because this is what it looks like with the organizer. If you want me to do what's in my diaper bag, I will. But this is what it looks like with the organizer in there. And I just have my wallet on the side so I can reach it easily. It's perfect. I love it. And now we've reached that special time of the day where it's time to clean bottles. <laughs> And you can see I'm watching Below Deck. I have to finish it. I've been watching like so many different TV shows at once and it really bothers me. I like to like finish a show and then start another. So I have to finish Below Deck so I can continue on. But I did watch all of Victoria, which is on Amazon Prime. And it's, I don't even know Victoria, what her name was, but it was one of the Queens of England. Very good show, it was only three seasons. They had eight episodes each if you're into like historical it's not fiction but obviously it's dramatized those kind of shows that was really good if you like to rain you'll like this because it's pretty similar but less teenagery because brain i think was more of like a teenager show although i loved it so now i'm gonna wash all these bottles The wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars now Lila's taking her afternoon nap I just I I'm the queen of getting mail and not opening it and dealing with it like months later I do it all the time I just had to activate my new Wells Fargo credit card that I got like in June oops and I have some medical bills that I have to deal with because they were incorrectly billed by the hospital and you know it's weird I still haven't gotten my hospital bill from when I had Lila these were just from like two previous visits I had while I was pregnant that should be covered. But it's after five, so the billing office is closed. So I did get myself out of doing that one today. But I don't know if I told you this. I feel like I did this morning, but I really don't remember. We're going to an Elton, not Elton John, Billy Joel concert tomorrow. And I have no idea what to wear. It's going to be like 90 degrees. I'm kind of thinking this dress. Because I don't want to wear jeans because I'm just like really having some body image issues, of course, as of late. 
so I don't really want to wear anything tight and I like things to cover my arms which is a new insecurity which I'm so glad that I have now <laughs> so annoying so that dress I got this dress last year I don't know what it'll, if it'll fit because it was kind of tight last year it has like no stretch in the waist but this one's cute I don't think that'll fit though oh this might be perfect this is from my Walmart video this actually may be perfect because it's short and I won't be sweating as long as I don't have my period tomorrow because I have it today and definitely not gonna wear an all-white dress if I have my period but that's a good option now I got to put this diaper bag somewhere like don't get me wrong I will definitely use it if we like travel and stuff but just for every day it's just too heavy I think after Lila wakes up we're gonna go on a walk I had to change because I kept having hot flashes because I'm 900 years old. And that's my update. I'm going to go upstairs and edit some videos. Oh, she's not asleep. She's staring at me wide. Okay, Jesse and I just went on that walk and then Lila fell asleep at the end. So I am going to Walgreens, as you can see, because I need like Tylenol, tampons. I want to get a new mascara. And I really just wanted to take my new bag for a spin, you know? Does anyone else, like when you get a new bag, you want to go somewhere so you could take it and just test her out? Just me? Somehow Peach just moved this. I don't know how. I didn't have it locked. That's really funny. My holy hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know I just took a bath. I'm all relaxed. Not even gonna wash my hair. I was gonna wash it because we're going to a concert. But honestly, my roots are just so overgrown that nothing can really help it. So whatever. I'm just gonna figure it out tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow separately. Jesse just put Lila to bed. He's gonna take a shower and then we're going to bed. And it's 8:30. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.